Welcome to this wood wall framing video. Here you will learn about the steps to laying out and building a wood stud wall. This video shows you how to cut wall plates, crown boards, mark the stud layout, and nail the wall together. The wall being framed in this video is for a storage shed, but the technique is also used to frame walls for basements and other interior walls. The materials used in wall framing are the wall plates and wall studs. The plates are the horizontal boards that run along the top and bottom of the wall. The plates hold the studs at 16 or 24 inches on center. The wall studs are the vertical boards that are installed between the top and bottom plates. Together they form the skeleton of the wall. The walls we are framing are 2x4, but the process is the same for 2x6 boards. The first step is to mark the wall locations on the floor where the wall will stand. Mark at least one of the wall sides and both of the ends on the floor. Use a chalk line to mark along the whole length of where the wall will stand. The second step is to measure the wall length and then cut two 2x4s to the length of the wall. If the wall is being built on concrete, then the plate that touches the concrete must be pressure treated. Only cut two plates for each wall at this time. If you are framing a wall with double top plates, you will cut and install them after framing and standing the walls. Crown each of the plates and set them in their final locations on the floor. Flush up the ends of the boards and make sure that the board ends meet the end of the wall marks on the floor to double check that the walls will be the right length. You are now ready to put layout marks on the wall plates. Double check that the board ends are flush with each other. Hook your tape measure on the ends of the two plates and pull the tape measure along the top edges. Mark the ends of both boards to show the first stud location. Move along the tape measure and put a mark at 16 and 3 quarters inches. Then put an X on the side of the mark closest to the tape measure hook end to help you remember what side of the mark the wall stud will go on. Continue making marks every 16 inches along the edges of the boards. Always go past the multiple of 16 by 3 quarters of an inch. Once all the layout marks are made, you will transfer the marks to the other board and make a line across both boards using a framing or speed square. Make sure that both boards have an X to show the side of the mark that the wall stud will go on. The fourth step is to assemble the wall plates and the wall studs by nailing them together. Separate the top and bottom plates far enough apart so that the wall studs will fit in between them. Make sure to keep the crown side with the layout marks facing up. Also keep the end that the layout starts on, on the same ends. Set the wall studs on the floor between the wall plates, with one stud next to each layout mark. Crown each wall stud and set it close to its respective layout mark on the wall plates. Crowning is done by looking down the narrow edge of the board, seeing which way the board bows, and then putting the bow arching upwards. You are now ready to nail the wall plates to the wall studs. Align the end of the wall stud on the X side of the layout marks you made on the wall plates, and nail the wall plate to the wall stud. Use two nails at each connection for 2x4 walls. The fifth step is to stand the walls and attach them to the floor. Start by clearing everything off the floor and sweeping it clean. Stand the wall and align it with the wall line marks you made earlier on the floor. Attach the wall to the floor by nailing the bottom plate of the wall to the floor with two 12D nails every 16 inches along the plate. If you are attaching the wall to concrete, you can use powder actuated nails or drill holes and use anchor bolts or screws. Try to install the nails so they go through the bottom plate and the flooring into the floor joists below. Stand and nail the remaining walls in the same way. As you stand each wall and nail it to the floor, flush up the corner boards of the two walls and nail the two walls together at the corner. Use one 12D nail at 12 inches on center vertically. 
The final step to building the walls is to install the double top plates. Adding a second top plate further locks the walls together. Non-bearing basement walls do not need a double top plate. Cut the top plates so that the board overlaps the adjacent wall at the corner. Install nails on both sides of the wall-to-wall -wall connection to tie the walls together. Continue nailing along the top plates by using two nails every 16 inches. Keep learning about home improvement by clicking on one of these videos. Thanks for watching.